Hello everyone, welcome to 7 hand card game challenge trump. I have no diamond, so I can play my trump. I have been asking you a lot of rhymes, riddles. I have been asking you a lot of riddles. And uh, I hope you have found answers for most of them or all of them. Today I am going to go through some of the riddles I have been asking you. What is it that comes only once in a month, it stays for 24 hours, then goes away. What is it that comes only once in a month, it stays for 24 hours, then goes away? And the answer is the date on the day. That was the answer I've already told you. I got more riddle with me. You might have found answers for them. Uh, let's see. Uh, why was baby strawberry crying? Why was baby strawberry crying? Baby strawberry was crying because his parents were in a jam. His parents were in a jam. So jam has two meaning. So he was crying. Next one. What did baby corn ask mama corn? What did baby corn ask mama corn? And the answer is baby corn asked his mama, Where is popcorn? Where is popcorn? Uh, how do you know that the ocean is friendly? How do you know that the ocean is friendly? And the answer is it waves. It waves. Another one, it is half made by men and half made by God. What is it? It is half made by men and half made by God. And the answer is a bullock cart. Bullock is ma made by God and cart is made by men. And bullock cart or a horse cart. We can also say horse cart <coughs> or a bullock cart. Uh, we also used to have um, bullocks pulling sledge, ghasita. Ghasita was very important thing in in our farm. Very important thing in our farm, ghasita. We used to use <coughs> this sledge, and either we use a horse or bullocks. If we use bullocks, we have to use two of them. And we join two bullocks using uh, juata. We call it juata. I think it's called yolk. Yolk in English, we call it juata. And the bullocks, we want to use bullocks, we use two of them. And we put juata. And we need juata for them to keep them both of them together for pulling sledge or plowing field so we use sledge for also for bringing water from the well one type of sledge was used for putting a big drum our well used to be far away from the house and we needed water mostly for cooking and washing dishes so we used sledge, big drum, and my father or elder brother used to get water from the well. And <coughs> for washing clothes, we went. We we did not bring water home for washing clothes. For washing clothes, we had to take all of our washing to the well. Take it to the well, draw water from the well and wash clothes 
at the well. We had a bathroom there near the well, which was about uh, 50 meters away from the house. And there we took our washing and we went to bath there and wash all the clothes. So that was our answer for the riddle half made by men, the horses made by God and the cart sledge or something made by men. Today's riddle is how can you drop a raw egg from a height onto a concrete floor without breaking it? How can you drop a raw egg, raw egg from a height without breaking it? That's my riddle for today. My riddle for today. <clears throat> and I got a poem here for you. A poem we used to sing long, long time ago. If all men were one man, if all men were one man, what a great man he would be. If all the trees were one tree, what a great tree that would be. If all the X's were one X, what a great X that would be. If the great man took the great X and chopped down the great tree, what a big splish, splash that would be. We used to recite that poem in my early days long time ago. I hope you have learned how to play seven hand challenge drum and enjoying the game. And if you have nothing to do in the evening, you can uh, you can play. Now I have been telling you that we made coconut oil from coconut, and as you know, there are so many uses of coconut. So many uses of coconut and all parts of the tree can be used. The trunk can be used as a bridge on small creeks. You can cut down the trunk. A lot of places have uh, where people have to cross small creeks. They put coconut trunk to cross uh, the creek. And also the most important for us was uh, the leaves. The leaves we used for making our broom. We made broom and that was the only broom we used to have, sasa broom. Even today people like the broom made from coconut leaves, the sasa broom. Even we like it today to use the broom. Although we are get, uh, we are able to buy, we are able to buy a lot of different kinds of broom, but we still like our sasa broom that we used to make. And for for uh, sweeping the yard, we used to make broom from bush tree, a bush tree, bariara, called bariara. We used a bush, we used to cut bariara bush tree and tie it together with the string and sweep the outside of the house. The, our compound, we used to keep it clean, sweep out all the dry leaves that used to fall. So we made our own broom from bush trees and from coconut leaves. So that was the broom, only broom we had. But nowadays we are getting a lot of different kinds of broom. And another important thing from coconut was the husk. The coconut husk was our brush. We were not able to buy a lot of brush. 
but uh, we used coconut husk for uh, cleaning our cement as a scrubbing brush used as a scrubbing brush so that was very important and the coconut fiber coconut fiber we use for cleaning our pots and pans for pots and pans using washing soap and sand soap and ash ash from the fire we used ash from the fire and that was our uh, that was for cleaning pots and pans as you know when we used fireplace our pots got black so it was important to wash it out and we wash used coconut fiber ash from the fireplace and that helped us to clean out all our uh, pots pots that was very useful coconut and coconut fiber was also used to make uh, make our mattress we didn't have a sponge in those days so mattress was made from coconut fiber or, co or cotton wool or cape oak mostly from coconut fiber that made very good mattress and some people made mattress cover from these bags we used to make pal big mats and the cover also used to be made from uh, the bags bags we used to get when we bought uh, when we bought sugar uh, we we had um, sugar came in big bags for us so we needed a lot of bags to put our rice put our rice and other uh, farm produce bags were very important and we had to make mats out of bags we had to open out the bag and when we opened out the bag made it flat we got a string from the bag we got the string and that is string uh, we used again to join the bags and if you fold it fold the bags we get we make a um, uh, cover cover for mattress and coconut fiber and some people even put rice stock after cleaning the rice getting the paddy out and the whatever is left we call it paira it's called paira so some people used to make mattress from that so that was stories from our early days thank you very much for watching bye